Hey everyone, welcome back to JJRX Rides with um, FSD, I guess, part two. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> and we are uh, with Ollie from Autonomy Central. Hello hey, again. Hi. This, thank you very much uh, for taking me along on this right here. This is sweet. You're um, very welcome. <laughs> so, yeah, we are starting at Terminal 4 uh, Departures here at F F Phoenix Sky Harbor Air Air Airport. And we are going to attempt a pullout here. Um, FSD doesn't seem to understand the context. Ah. It may, it may be a problem, possibly. Ah, okay. Whoa. Ooh. Nope, nope, that's a disengage. <laughs> it might have stopped, but it got way too close for comfort, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah, so, again, new video, same same expectations. We're not going to go crazy on the uh, no disengagement drives uh, here. And we're at hardware 3, 12.3.6. Uh, but it is still exciting to try it out. So, uh, I know all the other cool YouTubers probably have 12.5 right now, but, you know. <laughs> I'm just gonna honk to get these people to move forward because we're gonna we're kind of stuck here. <clears throat> Would you? <Okay. laughs> that was a good honk. <laughs> Had some echo to it. Sorry, I'm used to LAX. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the horseshoe of doom. There you go. See, they were just they were just. I wonder if they have the same problem. Whoa, 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 FSD whoa, whoa. shenanigans. Okay, we're good, we're out. Hey! But we're going incredibly slowly. Ooh, yeah. It thinks there's a five mile an hour limit, so I'm gonna press the accelerator. Okay. I'm gonna have to hold down the accelerator, because otherwise it slows down. Yeah. That's not good. Drifting over onto that other lane, too. Ooh, careful. Ooh, come on, FSD. Ooh. Alright, where's... Nice. Okay, back into the sun here. that exposure. Yep. So overall Sky Harbor drop off and pick up. Not great. <laughs> yes. Although we still wouldn't uh, want to get out of the car and then let it drive away by itself yet. So no. May or may not be useful for the time being. Um, but uh, there was there was a critical disengagement there where yes it was required for kind of safety reasons. So yes. Definitely not there yet. It really, it, there is a weird element to it with the oh, oh. trap. <laughs> they don't have a stop sign. Yeah, they don't. <laughs> this is the sign of the traffic. Uh, the thing said tra side traffic does not stop. So, this, uh, okay, I guess we're going into Terminal Three as well. Sure. <laughs> Got cones on the right side. Um, not any like in the lane, I guess. So that's good. But. to slow down. Yeah. I'm pushing the brakes there so we don't destroy the car. <laughs> right over the bump. Yeah. So that was another, I would call that one critical because it could have quite damaged the car quite a lot. So I, I said, uh, okay, so there's there's the like auto max speed, right? And then there's what it thinks is the speed limit and then what it's actually doing. Right. And was that, that was all it? That was all it. I didn't set any speed. Acceleration? Right. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So there, I guess there is, there's kind of a human element of kind of reading your surroundings and going, what is, what should I probably be going right exactly. now? Yeah. Um, so we would have avoided all of this had, uh, don't do it. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I kind of just bullied uh, that okay. Prius a little bit. <laughs> Okay, I mean, sure. Mm. There's the cones of uh, the okay. cones that cost you money. <laughs> the cones that cost you money. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a really good name, actually. <laughs> <laughs> if you're trying to do loops. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know why anyone else would want to do loops, but I I like to do loops. <laughs> you know, loops are fun. Do you know if it uh, shows planes? I don't think it does. <laughs> yeah. It's a little bit too far away, but uh, I'm pretty sure if it came up to it, yeah, it would go around it. Maybe, probably, yeah. I don't know. I've well, never that, tried it. <laughs> there was that allegedly uh, somebody uh, 
put a Tesla on Smart Summon and it ran right into a private jet. Oh. I don't remember. I'll have to dig up a video or something, but... Um, That's not good. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll go ahead and fact check that. But, uh, it's an expensive mistake if true. Yes. Yes. But I believe there is that turnaround right there that it would kind of avoid the cones that cost you money. Uh, I don't know if Waymo would consider doing that, but that'd be nice. Okay, I'm gonna make sure it doesn't speed. Uh, not next to the police. Yes. Preferably, uh, preferably not. Um, Is it just me, or did it slow down for the police? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I thought that was stop sign was for us initially, so I was like, oh dear, yeah, gripping the wheel. <laughs> So yeah, I would compare it to ChatGPT. Mm. If it's wrong, it will be wrong confidently, and it will aim itself at whatever the obstacle is full speed. Yeah. Um, There's yeah. a certain thing with ChatGPT where I'll say, use the use the calculator, search the web, and then run it like ten times just to see if they all agree with each other. Right. I wonder. I, don't know, I wonder if there's anything like that going on here. Uh, I don't think there's enough compute power. Maybe. Oh yeah. Because Hardware 3 initially, I, please correct me on comments if I'm mistaken. Um, it thinks I'm not paying attention. I oh, can't see my eyes. Um, correct me on the comments if I'm mistaken, but it had two. This is not a lane. We're in the middle. This is highly illegal. Uh, before I was really interrupted by that, um, it had two parallel processors, I think, mm. is the more correct term, um, cal they were supposed to calculate the same stuff ah. um, and compare, but they actually had to cannibalize that second one, way more on the freeway, way more on the freeway, um, they had to cannibalize that second one to be able to run these models, oh, I see, so, okay, way more on the freeway, what, is that one? the first one you've seen? Uh, first one I've seen since being back in Phoenix. Oh, okay. yeah, since the end of July. Um, then again, I haven't also been on the freeway that much. So, I guess it's about to be expected. But what I would love is to see if that had a safety driver. Obviously, it probably does have a safety driver. But one of these days, we'll spot one that doesn't. And then it'll be a big, oh yeah, baby, let's go. Um, do you think they'll have them up until the very end? Safety drivers? Maybe, yeah. So I don't see why not. Um, but yeah, because the last few times we saw service area expansion, it was only like a couple days even before we, we saw driverless ones like starting to pop up in the area. Are there like, already driverless yeah. ones with employees on the freeway? Oh, we, oh yeah, I mean, um, full rider only or empty you know yeah yeah, yeah. anyway but like the, that there it could have just been coincidental but like that when they started doing the paradise valley scottsdale extension or maybe even no it was the second phoenix connection they did um i'll put a screenshot up of the service area but i, I swear we saw videos coming out of like I mean, this is a really rambly point it doesn't really matter but anyway yeah I mean, we'll get to freeway eventually but uh, the time is not yet it's not yet come. So can you spot whether it's a safe to drive? Let's see. Uh, no way. Yeah, there's no way. It's not through the back window, unfortunately. Yeah. But this we'll is nice. a little bit close to this truck. Ooh. Yeah, so this is uh, 51 North, I believe, which is high speed, a lot narrower than the other freeways, and kind of scary. So this is, uh, this is cool. Interestingly, it just braked because it thought that bus was signaling right. Yeah. Does it show the turn signals? It does, yeah. Okay, nice, nice. Sometimes it adds them in if it thinks it should be signaling. Mm. Which is quite cool. So I have some yeah. changing lanes without a signal. I don't know if you can... S no, it hasn't shown up on that car. Oh, got it. Hit or miss. Sure, sure. But no, we're running the... Uh, full code V11, no AI stack right now. Yes. So where exactly are we headed? <laughs> where exactly are we headed? Oh, uh, 
Uh, yeah, so I just I just picked a point that was more to the north just because I wanted to go on the freeway. Okay. We, got, we got some city streets before and now I want to get some freeway in here too. Um, but yeah, so I just picked like Camelback Toyota okay. um, off to the north here and then we're going to see if we can head to the southeast and start heading back. Nice. Um, but yeah. And then what would be really fun is maybe if we end off by going to the Walmart that I work at. Um, you want to put that on video? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come say hi. <laughs> By the time this goes out, I'll actually be on leave again and probably back in Rexburg, Idaho. Or, actually, no. Anyhow, whatever. Anyway, I'll, yeah, I'm going, on, going on leave again to so give myself enough time to edit all the LA stuff. Nice. Um, but, yeah, okay, so lane change, matching the speed of that Civic up ahead. Um, yeah, instead of, instead of like letting off the accelerator, it, it really does kind of and keep that follow distance. Um, See, it was trying to drop behind that, that BMW and it oh, just okay. sped up. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. And then it trade places there. Nice. Yeah. It's not the smoothest. It gets a job done. Sometimes it'll miss its exit in heavy traffic because it's not quite aggressive enough. Right. Especially in LA. It, it won't stick its nose in. <laughs> if that makes sense. I don't know if I'd want it to. If I'm not in control and I'm liable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Cybertruck behind us. Oh, nice. I'm seeing it all today. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, so yeah, coming off the freeway here. Gonna sort itself out uh, lane wise. Yeah, so we're back into end to end day high now. So, uh, truck with a trailer shows two trucks. Yes. Although, could just be a. Is it just a. Is, do you know if it's a limitation of the visual or is it actually. A, oh, well. Limitation of the visual. Okay. Rather than an actual. There's no, there's no trailer visual, I don't think. Yeah. I don't think there's with Waymo either. Then again, Waymo doesn't really show vehicle types other than through the point cloud. So. Yeah. But, yeah, anyway. So it's okay. <laughs> okay, just let me know because I need them less in the back seat here. Okay, Waymo behind. Oh, where? Yeah. Oh, at the light. Yeah, at the light. I was wondering if Waymo was following us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shall I have it turn left? Uh, sure. Into the Toyota dealership? Uh. Oh. Honestly, yeah, whatever it does is, is cool with me. Because right. um. I can't edit the route while this is up. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah. So we'll drive onto the lot, it's fine. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I figured part, part of that is you know, getting into the lot and then getting out of it again yeah. is part of the fun. Hopefully they won't mind. Yeah. What is Tesla doing here? <laughs> Try to convince the guy that the T stands for Toyota. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, also I pulled into the other lot at Waymo. I pulled into a dealership and they were all staring at me like, what? <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? So I was like, oh, bye, see ya. <laughs> Oh, this is very interesting. Ooh, yeah, cones, bit of, bit of stuff here. It doesn't care. Yeah, it goes straight for it. Okay, and then bus lane. Okay, okay. Articulating grass. Oh, cones. cones here. Okay, so we're gonna make our way around the cones. 
very tight. Yeah. Okay, wait for the signal to turn off. Nice. And we're going to try and navigate at Costco Park. Let's do it. Cool. Speed bump. Oh. Yep. Could have been smoother, but. Yep. <laughs> Steering again. <laughs> it slowed for that bump. That's good. Will it slow for this one? Um, nope. No. Oh, I'm pressing the brake. Because <laughs> these are nasty ones. It's going to damage the car. Yes. So that's the third time it's tried to kill itself today. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, please take me to the Tesla service center. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, goodness. Okay. Okay, this is it. Yeah. Slight, yeah, trying to make its way out with. Uh... Oh, this is. Oh, wow. 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 Yeah. Why are we just stopped here? Not even signaling either. Okay, I'm just gonna have to pull through because. Yeah. I pressed the accelerator there because this car's approaching from behind. <laughs> I've lost count of interventions. <laughs> Maybe you can put a count on the screen or something. Yeah. Sorry to add to your editing work. <laughs> Interventions versus critical disengagements. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but for people watching, every time I've intervened, I've said something. Yeah. I haven't been like pressing the accelerator or anything unless I've said. Mm. Um, and you can see when it's still engaged, obviously. So. Yeah. All right. And not quite green light. You trying to predict it? <laughs> yeah, sort of. I thought the red arrow would. Oh, hi, Wemo. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the same one, actually. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah. I guess you've watched enough videos of red lights putting the timer on to <laughs> <laughs> be able to predict it with reasonable accuracy, right? Yeah. Somewhat. It varies by city, but. Oh. Ooh. Uh, pulse. Okay. Okay. And we're still going incredibly slowly. Yeah. See, now that car's passed us, it's decided it's okay to go faster. I did not press the accelerator there. Wow. Interesting. It's kind of peer pressured into its speed, if that makes sense. Okay, hanging tree. Okay, we we're short enough that we didn't really. Oh, maybe an R1S. Take a shot. <laughs> We didn't really have to interact with the tree branch. Whereas with Waymo, did that huge swerve with the hanging tree branch. Was that what happened right there? It wasn't the same place, but the same idea. Okay. Yeah. But it was actually a lot more, uh, a lower branch with more varied, uh, kind of thick uh, branches. Mm. So it was... Because the highest sensor on this car is just behind this mirror here. Ah, okay. That's the highest camera. Yeah. So... Gates seems to be its kryptonite. Oh, okay. And barriers that come like this. Right. Um, I've driven through like an entrance barrier that opens up for you, mm. and then there's another one after that comes up, and it will slam on the brakes for the the gates. Oh. It will eventually figure them out, but then it will just try to plow straight into the barrier that comes up like this. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'd say the basic driving spin has been okay. Yeah, I'd say so. Just a few uh, times it tried to damage itself or uh, <laughs> other people. You know, as you do. As you do. Is it? <laughs> The second it decides that it's time to change lanes, it just does it. Nice and snappy. Yeah. Whereas on the freeway that still runs the V11, it will mm. very slowly get across. And this will happily cut across three lanes to get to where it needs to go. Really? Yeah. Nice. If it's clear, it will just change three at once. It doesn't care. Yeah. 
I've rarely seen Waymo do that. Mm. Yeah, but I've seen it end up doing that at some point. Yeah. I think Waymo doesn't like to do it, mm -hmm. but it's not afraid to do it if it needs to. Right, right. Yeah. Whereas I remember when I was running V11 on this, um, it would go from one lane to the next lane to the next lane. Mm. It had to stop and think about it each time. Well, not stop, but it had to think about it before it moved right. over. I've never seen that kind of box for a uh, keep clear. Right. Uh, I've seen it say keep clear on the road. Yeah. But I've never seen a box like that. Apart from like obviously abroad, but yeah. And some of, some of the stations have s straight up traffic lights as well, which makes it a little more clear cut. But yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, okay, Reed Motors. Hi, hi, Reed. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Reed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> See if we get a random ambulance or something. That'd be fun. Have you ever seen that? Um, an ambulance on FSD? Yeah. Um, it's doesn't do anything on city streets, it doesn't care. Oh, okay. Um, on the freeway, a message comes out saying slowing for emergency lights, and it just slows down, that's all it does. Oh, okay. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Let's see, oh, I think phantom car there on the right. For a second, oh, there, no, that is a car. Okay, it was just included. By the mattresses. By the, yeah. yeah. Uh, other, other cars on the mattresses. That is, that is something that I think uh, Waymo's capabilities bring value in is the consistency of the of the visual. It's a lot less stuttery. Oh yeah, more rock solid in terms of. Uh, and like when new stuff appears, I've seen a little bit like an animation. Yeah. If you've noticed, it like pops. Yeah, uh, a lot of it comes down to like animation differences and, and that yeah. sort of thing. Um, what what the strict underlying actual thing is, you know, it's different than how they choose to, what they choose to show you and how much, but it's still interesting to, to see. Because um, I, I imagine the Waymo thing has a little bit of smoothing. Uh, oh yeah. But. And Waymo relies a lot on straight code, <clears> so <throat> its planner will show you a lot further Yeah. compared to this, so it will show you a very short amount because of the end-to-end -end AI approach can only tell you what it's literally about to do. Hmm. And then, yeah, way off to the... Way off uh, in front. Yeah. One thing I have noticed is the only forward planning capability it seems to have is just following the GPS. Hmm. Um, it doesn't forward plan. It will happily get itself into a situation that was correct in that moment. But the moment afterwards gets itself stuck somewhere because oh. it hasn't really thought about what happened next. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was a harsh break for no reason. Yeah, I wonder if I had to do the, the crosswalk there. I think it thought the light was broken and it might have to stop. Yeah. There's, so there's continuous, continuous to see little benefits here and there of pre-mapping your environment. Oh, definitely. One I could I thought of but didn't bring up was that airport section with the speed limits. Yes. So if all the whole of it was five miles per hour, I wanted to crawl along the airport. Yeah, and then I thought it was like thirty-five or something. There's a neighborhood I drive through in um, in California, 
and it actually has a separate sidewalk speed limit for like e-bikes. Oh, okay. And that's five miles an hour. It will read that sign and it will slam on the brakes. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> So what do you think, RoboTaxi this year from Tesla? Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but when's the reveal, though? October, I want to say? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I do wonder what that looks like. But do you think <laughs> we're going to see a RoboTaxi working? No. And not just a car? That would be the pinnacle of hilarity if they chose a geofence and said we are driverless here <laughs> um, I think I think the, that would be a little bit too embarrassing yes uh, unfortunately for them to walk it all the way back to uh, that uh, <laughs> I'm sure certain people on Twitter would apologize <laughs> for it <laughs> and say that it was fine yeah not naming any names <laughs> I do hope they add some more sensors eventually. Oh, yeah. Or something. They say it's not mapped, but it kind of is. Yeah. Um, I've been in situations where it's showing, like, these areas here. Ah. Non-drivable space. Yeah. In areas where there's no way it could see. Like right. it's blocked by an entire bush. If uh -huh. I was just standing on top of the car, I wouldn't be able to see it. Wow. But it, it was showing them. So it obviously has some degree of mapping. Right. Uh, Interesting. And then obviously there's the second layer of simply the GPS. It has all the lane data of where each lane goes. True, true. And yeah. I've been through an intersection where it's been completely redeveloped. And the entire intersection has actually shifted to the right several several meters. I don't mm. know what that is in feet. Um, nine feet, maybe. Yeah. Se several. I think of three is any anyway, three three meters, nine feet. Several uh, several feet. Yeah. Um, and um, it just freaked out because the GPS was telling it one thing, and it wanted to do another, and all the lanes had changed, and it, it just couldn't handle it. So. Yeah might not be a HD map mm. in the same sense as Waymo. Still something though. But it still heavily relies on some kind of mapping. Right. Which is a good thing. Let us let us encourage mapping please. Yeah, definitely. Uh, <laughs> it's just claims are made that there is no mapping and that's why it's superior. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying that's my opinion or your opinion. Mm. I'm just saying claims are made. Yes. Yes. But you, you drive it in areas where it's clearly been trained. Oh. Some kind of data in the model from that specific area. It will drive you a lot better. Like if you drive it through um, downtown LA. It will perform ten times better than it normally does. Really? Because it's seen those situations on those exact roads before. Oh, okay. Like, so well, it, not so much downtown LA. I've driven there around Beverly Hills a little bit, and it it clearly knows the area mm, mm. just based off the performance. Interesting. I would um, I would love to see. There's probably some Michigan FSD videos out there. Dirty that, Tesla. Dirty Tesla. Okay, that makes sense. I um, cause I, I learned to drive in Michigan. Okay. Um, and in the snow and all that. You know, snow, snow is kind of a different beast entirely, but, mm. um, yeah. <laughs> I think Dirty Tesla's near Ann Arbor. Oh, okay. He's done some snow videos before. I've been watching him for, since nearly the start of his channel. Oh, sweet. It got recommended to me before it blew up. It's crazy. Um, and I think he's done a few snow videos and stuff like that. You'll have to check it out. Okay, I think I will. Yeah. Everyone else, check it out. Yeah, do that. <laughs> Info <Yeah>. card. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely worth a sub if you like the MSD content. Do you know where where's Chuck Cook's unprotected left? Is it Chuck Cook's? Yeah. Um, I think that's on the east coast. Oh, okay. I'm 
I'm not mistaken. Because it, it's not in Phoenix. <laughs> no, yeah, I think it's I think it's funny how occasionally right. we'll see a million test vehicles going over it over and over and over again. Yeah, I might be talking out of my butt, but <laughs> I just remember it was far away. Yeah. The test vehicles going round and round are hilarious. And then I think they saw a cyber truck. I do wonder what the cyber truck is gonna look like in terms of auto pilot FSD. change of dimensions of that vehicle must require a completely new model. Mm-hmm. New mm. training data. They've definitely got their work cut out for them. Yeah, I think it's interesting as well because Waymo's stuff is high up on the vehicle enough that it can see not too crazy far, but far enough ahead. Like, you can see multiple cars ahead. Whereas we can only just see what's in view. Right. So, um, before they removed the radar out of Tesla's, oh, it did a that. bouncing trick where it would bounce radar into the car in front to see the one in front of that. Cool. Doesn't do that anymore. This car doesn't have radar. It oh. rolled off the production line without radar. Oh, so you got, you got the one that was... So it's newer than... Okay, yeah. It has yeah. ultrasonic but no radar. Got it, got it. What's so, funny is, I can actually see the car in front of the car in front through the window. Right. But the car obviously can't. Yeah. Which I guess impacts performance of like braking and stuff because when you know when the person in front is braking. Yes. You can brake a little earlier. You can predict it and kind of work around it. Yep. Oh, that was. Ooh, yep. Okay. A bit harsh. Making our way up to the Costco here. Yes, we have decided to throw it through a Costco parking lot. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Or unless it's not actually that busy, then slightly less fun, but it's still fun. Have you taken Waymo through a Costco parking lot? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, like probably tens of times. How does it do? It's pretty good. Good. That was it was my favorite test back in the day mm-hmm. of uh, taking the Pacificas through the Chandler Costco over and over and over again. <laughs> um, but I haven't done it as much anymore. Just in favor of mixing it up because I, I never really go to Chandler anymore. That's fair. Um, maybe I should, but you know, all the fun stuff is way up here. So. Uh, like I tried to do on the last time. The, I think the last time I went to Costco, it was actually closed because I went before it opened. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 oh. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It just tried to kill us. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I wonder if it, because, oh, sorry, I moved the camera again. Dang it. Um, <laughs> that was a safety crack, we'll just engage with. Yes, because uh, there, was, there was also an occluded car behind that one as well. Yes. And that could have been a problem. Yes. If it had really gunned it, we probably could have done that, but just not. I didn't trust it to gun it enough. No, no, no. Yeah, no. That was scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, okay, so it does look like there's some decent uh, pedestrian foot traffic going on up there. Cool. Uh, Let me just try Yeah. and see where it's going. Oh yeah, right there. Okay, it's going to get right up to the store. Cool. Um, and then I'll set... Sweet. And then set the final point? Yes. Yeah. I'll tell you what, we'll do an auto park. How about that? Sure. Let's have it roll up to the store, and then we'll take it around, do an auto park, and um, nice. figure out the next destination. Nice slowing for that guy over there. Good deal, good deal. I think we've been rolling on this video number two for like, let's see, 35 minutes? Okay. I think. That's pretty decent. So that person's waiting for that spot. So will we go around them? That's the question. That is the question. Pedestrian here, car there. Yes, we're going around them. I see. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay. Very close to everything. Which way is it going to go? It's going to turn left. Ah, 
check it out. Uh, still lots of people. Yes. I mean, Waymo will just straight up ignore destination points now anyway, so it's... Yeah, it's like, okay. you're basically here, it's fine. Yeah. Like, well, oh well. Okay, so now the GPS has told it to make a loop to go back towards Costco. Ah. So I'm going to disengage. Okay, yeah, we basically made it anyway, so... Okay, so all these spots it can't actually do because they're diagonal. Oh. But I can make it do these ones over Oh, because that's the back end. You're right. Got it. Notice there's no parking spots showing up. Right. Now, could you could you say start from this angle right here? Or do you have to be kind of perpendicular? Oh, you can start from whatever angle you want. Oh, okay. Usually. Oh, but it just go. has to see it first. Okay. Nice. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> People have done some crazy ones. Yeah, this is really not my world. I'm, I'm not used to the whole Tesla thing. I've just been very separated from it, so. What's this person doing? It, it, um, hmm. What was her problem? Was she trying to go around me? Uh, oh, she was. Maybe, yeah, that seems likely. Well, that was cool. Uh-huh. All right, then. Uh, All right. Let's call it right there. Sounds good. Uh, for video number two, thank you very, very much for watching. Thanks again, Ollie, for uh, for letting me take a ride here. Of course. It's pretty sweet. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>